Hey guys, so I was doing a little bit of work on one of my sites and I noticed that Dawn by default doesn't actually have a way to change the color of this little bubble icon here. You'll notice that it actually draws its color from this solid button label under primary colors here in your site's uh, theme settings. And so you see, like if we change this to like, let's say I wanted to change it to black, it's actually gonna go ahead and it's gonna change every single thing in my header and like in here and I obviously do not want that to be the case. If we bring up Chrome DevTools, which you can do by pressing uh, Control Shift C, and you go ahead and inspect this element here, um, which to inspect it, you can just click this and then hover it and then click it. Uh, you'll see that it has this class cart count bubble. And if you look at the class definition here, you'll notice that that's actually where it's getting its uh, background color from. You can see that it's set to this variable, this color button variable, which is set to this here. Um, and it's actually coming from this file here, this base.css file. So that's the file that we're going to be looking in, in your site's theme files. Once you load your site's admin, I want you to go ahead and click on online store and themes here. And what you guys want to do is we're going to go to edit code. But before you do that, make sure you either duplicate or um, download your theme file. And that way, if something gets messed up along the way, uh, you have a previously working copy of your site to revert to. But once you've done that, go ahead and click this edit code button. Now that we're in our code, I'm going to full screen it. And here I'm going to search for base.css. And you'll notice down here by this assets folder, there's going to be this base.css file. I already have it open, but if you don't have it open, go ahead and open it. And uh, you'll notice on this, uh, on the Chrome DevTools in base.css, this uh, line is gonna be line 2110. Yours is probably gonna be around there if you haven't fooled around much with the code of your site. But if you have, just go to whatever line it's saying. Uh, the other way to find this would be you can press Control F and type cart dash count dash bubble. And uh, you'll find it. But once I'm here, you can see that this is the line that we're interested in here, this background color. So right now, it's set to this variable, this color button variable. And one of the things um, that is a little bit unique about Dawn, it actually uses for its uh, base CSS file, it doesn't have the .liquid extension on it, and therefore it actually doesn't have access to any liquid objects or uh, theme settings or anything like that um, directly. So this uh, color button variable is actually going to be declared in your um, theme.liquid and so um, right here so in this style uh, section of your of the liquid like it declares all of these variables and once you've declared them they're all accessible to um, whatever else you load after that so we're not actually going to be creating an option for this we're just going to be editing this in line because creating an option for this is just a little bit more intensive because we have to go in here and then we have to go into our site schema and everything like that and most of you probably just care about the appearance of the site so um one of the things we can do though is if we want to use like for instance if we wanted to use our second accent color uh we can search this for accent too you can see that this uh, variable is actually going to be this color base accent too. And we can go ahead and replace this with the thing we copied, which is that color base accent too, and save that. So once we've done that, we've sort of rebound this uh, bubble icon. Let me close Chrome DevTools here. We've rebound this and you can see now that it's actually applying this accent to here. Uh, the other thing we could do here is instead of uh, making it a variable. And the other thing to note is, you know, anytime you're you're editing your theme files, you really want to go ahead and leave a comment um, so that you can just type slash uh, asterisk and then make sure you close it with another asterisk and slash. And I'm just going to put the date and um, put like changed uh, the count part count bubble but the other thing i was getting to was what we could do here is we could use a hex code instead and choose the hex code um you know you could just pull it off of any of the other uh colors of your site here because they list all your, their hex codes 
or you know you could go to a site like htmlcolorcodes.com and just play around with whatever um and get the appropriate hex code and copy that and go ahead and paste that and save it and then once you refresh your site it should update and you can see that it's this blue color that is like this that's how you change this little bubble here if you wanted to change the actual cart um, it'd be a very similar process uh, most themes uh, this is gonna be an SVG element uh, let me see if I can just yeah the SVG and for that I think you just change the color here and so if I change it to like black yeah you can see this changing it or I could do um, you know I could do anything like I could do uh, turquoise or something you know um, but yeah that's how you change that um, I am going to be making a video soon on how you can actually change this to be a um, shopping cart icon. Uh, you know, Shopify by default, they've sort of switched over to this like bag type icon. Um, I know some people, you know, prefer having a shopping cart icon here instead of a bag icon. So that's probably going to be my next video. So if you like these types of videos, uh, I basically just create content on how people can sort of uh, customize their site with uh, very little coding knowledge. So let me know uh, what, what issues you guys are having on your site or what, what sort of features you want me to cover in future videos. And other than that, I'll see you in the next video, guys.